All right, everyone, welcome back. So, um, yeah, I, I don't even know how to start this video. This has been a crazy, crazy morning. Um, by the time I uploaded the 500 subscriber video, actually, by the time I was recording it, I was at uh, 470 subscribers or something like that. Um, so I had just assumed that I was going to hit 500 by the end of the day. And uh, yeah, boy, was I wrong, man. That is a that was just a massive understatement. I am now at the time of recording this video at 1600 subscribers, um, which is absolutely insane. Like, I, I can't believe how many new subscribers and comments have been on the videos in the past uh like five or six hours um it, it is absolutely ridiculous how many people have joined the channel yeah i mean i just i can't begin to explain how grateful <laughs> i literally can't i just tried to get it out there and it didn't nothing came out i can't begin to explain how grateful i am and how fortunate i feel to be in this position so um yeah, I spent all morning replying to comments. I tried to reply to every single one I possibly could. So um, if I didn't reply to yours, I'm sorry. I probably just missed it. There's been so many that I've been uh, trying to keep up with. Like I, I tried to reply to as much of them as I could. Um, but today is obviously the 1000 subscribers special video. This should go up tomorrow. So I am recording this on the same day as this one, April 10th but this will probably go up on April 11th sometime in the morning. So um, yeah, obviously by the thumbnail and the title of this video today, I feel like there's no better way to round off the 1000 subscriber special than finishing the castle that pretty much started this world, right? So um, there is a world tour on my channel from uh, maybe last year or something like that. It's a very old video. It's not exactly the best video in the world, if I'm being completely honest with you. But if you're curious about the history of this world um, and whatnot, uh, I would recommend going back and watching that and you know just skipping through it to see uh, where we are. So I figured there's no better way to celebrate 1,000 subscribers than to finish the build that pretty much started it all for me, right? This build means so much to me. This was kind of like my um, my biggest challenge in Minecraft to date. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing with the exterior. <laughs> I'm gonna say that in quotations right now. I am not gonna do the interior because that would obviously take me um, days and days and days to complete. And that means there wouldn't be a video out for over a week. <laughs> so I am just going to do the exterior shell and finish this thing because, uh, I really want to get this and, done. And, uh, I, I just feel like there's no better way to celebrate 1000 subscribers than by finishing my, um, what I would say is my biggest build to date. Uh, it is definitely <laughs> taken me a very long time to get to this point and uh, a lot of mining and many, many uh, netherite and diamond pickaxes. So uh, yeah, this is where we're at right now. Um, there's a lot to be done. So I figure that we uh, just go ahead and get started here because uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And if I wanna finish this before the sun sets, uh, it's gonna take me a while. So um, might as well go ahead and get started now. All right, so I think the easiest thing for us to start with is to finish the cobblestone base of uh, one of these massive towers here um, and that's just because it's going to give a better visual to understand what needs to be added and what needs to be removed so i am talking about this one right here after i grab my scaffolding i will come back over here and uh we will finish this right here and we just need to get it lower than the gate so the cobblestone's probably going to come down to somewhere around this region so you see, I don't know how far we're into the video, but um, if you can't tell already, this is why a lot of this castle isn't finished, just because I am just standing here looking at this thing and I have no idea what to do next. It's very overwhelming to um, kind of put this together because although it may look like it to you, I really didn't have any plan when I was making this thing. I was just kind of 
I kind of started building up towers in random spots and chose whatever sight lines looked good and uh, went from there. So I, I just got to kind of get up there and figure this out because I'm going to be standing here so forever. We need that. And then uh, this is what I meant by filling it in like this. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, we won't, we only have to do up until this way. So we only have to do those two right there because the roof is going to cover that anyways. So we don't need to fill it in anymore. All right, I'm going to do my best to keep this video moving. This is obviously going to be a lot of building. So uh, if I don't edit this video that much, it would be over like probably three, four hours long. And that is just going to be insanely boring. <laughs> so <laughs> I am uh, trying my best to keep this video moving. So I don't know what I'm going to keep in and what I'm not going to keep in. But what I do know is that I can now finish placing these blocks i can't get down there Ugh. so we'll do that okay so now i just need to focus on filling in this wall here oh but do i even want to do that because those windows are right there uh well okay i think i do because ah no i don't <laughs> oh man okay i can't make up my mind all right so is that that piece done i would say just about we do need to go up there and do that. What the? Oh, <laughs> that scared me. I was like, what is that? Okay, mister, you want to be in the video, don't you? I have an idea to make that work. That is obviously an insane overlap. But I think the way that we fix this is uh, when this wall meets that white block it's going to cut in and become parallel with this white block and then we're going to use stairs to connect that piece to there if that makes sense to you i hope it does let's line that corner up like this it'll be much easier if we do it this way i think so i'm just going to build up to the layer that i want to be shown and that can just do that for now all right and i'm going to walk the dog placing all these like this until i get up there it's gonna take a long time so uh i will cut to you guys when i'm finished placing these blocks all right so the cobblestone is finished there as you can see um so what we need to do now now that i'm looking at this is i need to replicate these uh towers on the opposite side of that top structure so um i'm running a little light on the calcite so we might have to do some mining here okay this is not gonna be exactly the easiest thing in the world to do it would have been very helpful had i <laughs> selected the blocks that i needed before i started doing this oh i brought the wrong stairs with me all right, so somebody had asked me to explain my uh, building a little more. And so I'll do that right now. And so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm adding these towers to the corners of the building to give the building some more dimension and a little bit more uh, stuff for your eyes to look at. Um, and so that's why I'm building these. And so I'm using the stairs with andesite blocks on top of them to be a nice um, separation from the flat wall onto the actual pillar and then you see the pillar just build straight up from there so all right well i'm just going with this <laughs> I, have, I have no idea how to make this right now all righty i don't know if i've ever flown you guys out here actually this was a, a new project that i had started it's very recent um but i finished what we were doing oh i didn't realize i haven't done that up there gonna have to get to that um so yeah we obviously obviously <laughs> um we obviously finished the uh the four corners of the towers that was the look i was going for i really just want that to be like the main focus of the whole thing um, but we obviously need to patch up some stuff like that's floating in there and um as you can see there's lots of flat cobblestone walls, which is not exactly the design that I want. So, so I'll just make like little white windows or some sort of like a mini roof thing on those 
really flat cobblestone sections. But so far, so good. That's about what I was going for when it comes to that. So there's a couple stuff I wanted to add to the roof as well. So I think that's what we'll do next. All right, so one great thing you can do for your Minecraft builds is when you're building roofs, um, it's important to uh, probably break them up in some way, shape, or form to allow for um, just more variation because obviously we've got a lot of crimson wood here, right? So we want to break this up so we can make it look a little bit better um, by not having the same block over and over again. So I'm going to count five blocks. That way we're an even number. So one two three four and five and so let's mark that so that would be five one two three four five and let's just double check that that's right i'm going to break these blocks because this is where our uh, new roof piece is going to be um, because we're going to have a white wall with a window uh here so um do I want it to be that low? I don't think I do want it to be that low. So um, it's just going to be something like so because this is going to go out like that. Um, but I need to get some spruce wood before we do that. So what I was talking about was that I'm going to take these spruce stairs and those are going to go like this. And uh, I'm going to do a pattern like this. So upside down. And then uh, you can see right here, I did the one. So then we go up like that. And um, I think I'm going to do it again, actually. We'll go with that. We're going to have to uh, get rid of this block then. And this right here, we're going to have to completely rework the way that we thought of that, which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. So uh, let's clear the cobblestone and we'll break this. And so uh, we'll get those in the position that they need to be. So again, we're just going out on the side of the block here, place one extra from the wall, and then go upside down, stair, one block, then a stair, and then do it again. So upside down stair, one block, then a stair. And that way you get that sloped roof and uh, we gotta clear this stuff out. So just connect the stairs. Oh my God, I just had a heart attack. I thought I just fell all the way down. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So that's the kind of shape that we're going for. So obviously that just breaks up that whole, um, you know, line that was over there. And uh, obviously you guys saw how I just did that. So I'm not going to show you the building process for that to help this video go by a little bit quicker because <laughs> this thing would be like three hours long otherwise. So uh, I'm going to get to work on that and then I'll come back. Okay, I think that is gonna suit nicely. So we'll head back to our little lighthouse viewing spot right here. And, uh, well, guys, I don't know if I love that, if I'm being honest with you. And I forgot to replace that block there. Um, I'm trying to think of how we could fix this. I think what I need to do is just get rid of this block right here. Yeah, I think I like that a lot more. Um, it, it's a lot less bulky. And, um, you know, when we finish, like, the details and everything looks much more uniform, it's going to look a lot better. So um, the last thing I was thinking is uh, this really needs some sort of a peak on the top um, and some sort of design up here. I'm going to have these calcite little peak designs, and they're going to get progressively taller the more they taper in towards the center and the center is going to have the tallest ones um hmm is that too much is that too much um you know what? i've got to sit on that for a while i'm going to leave them there actually um i think that they'll actually look nice I think it's just such a fresh change that it's uh, kind of throwing me off a little bit. So I'm going to sit on that for a couple days and we'll come back to it. All right. So now our next piece would be to do uh, this roof right here. So this roof is. Um, let's see. How am I going to do this? So this one, I think I'm just going to take it out like that. OK, so that's a good base to work from. And I think I'm going to progressively go one higher with this roof. So I'll start with one block in between 
right? And so we can do something like that, right? It's a little hard to visualize that from that perspective. And I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. That woke me up. Um, okay, it's very pointy. Very, very pointy. Alrighty, that was some good progress, I would say. Let's fly around and take a look. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I really have to sit on that for a while. Um, the next time I log on, we'll uh, determine whether or not I'm going to keep that. But um, that was definitely some good progress. I forgot to do this side. Uh, I'm going to have to do that. Um, in a bit here, but uh, That's what we did with that side right there, which I think Looks pretty decent if we take a look at it from further away. Uh, it's pretty okay uh, There's still stuff we can improve on uh, hopefully you guys can see the vision coming together a little better now I know it's a little hard to kind of see what I'm picturing when the build is, you know, half not finished um, So uh, yeah, we're working on it. We're getting there, but um uh, this won't be the end of the video for you, but for me, this is definitely the end of my session. I am getting very, very tired, so I definitely need to get some rest right now. Um, but I will come back tomorrow, a stronger Minecraft player, and we will continue the work on our castle. So I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, I'm not sure what the last clip was, um, but I've gone to bed in between it, so I just woke up, and uh, we're here in the library. I have just seen that I've hit now almost uh, 2,700 subscribers. So the channel has basically quadrupled overnight um, while I was sleeping, which is uh, absolutely crazy. Um, so what I decided to do was make a new book here and you can see it is named uh, Comment of the Day. So I'm gonna go find a comment that, um, I don't know, just uh, something that I find interesting or something that I find funny. Um, through one of my videos and from now on in every video I will go ahead and add a comment of the day to this book so uh, I'm gonna go find something right now all right so this was a very nice comment from the LA statue video so this is what the comment says it says I must say you are a literal hermit if someone told me you are a hermit in their video I would believe them your building and personality is so amazing and you're so calm I'm definitely staying for more videos and hope you have more success and that was from Stephanie Giacco 7524 so um yeah to that I just have to say uh for one it's absolutely flattering to even be mentioned in another sentence as uh or to be mentioned in the same sentence as you know the hermits i don't feel like i am anywhere close to them <laughs> you know they are so talented and so skilled at what they do yeah and so it means a lot that um you know uh that comment had a lot of upvotes as well so um it means a lot that a lot of people agree with that yeah to be considered in that same category means a lot you know it's something that is um uh, very prestigious in the Minecraft world to be on that Hermitcraft server. And so anytime that anybody compliments your work and tells you that it reminds them of, uh, you know, the Hermitcraft players, that does mean a lot um, because uh, those are the best of the best right there. So, um, yeah, truly, uh, thank you for that comment. That was uh, incredibly generous of you to say. And um, I did want to say I actually have to go to my end farm and repair my elytra and a couple other things. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way because um, there's a build over here. I'm going to continue what I was saying in a second, but there's a build over here that I wanted to show you guys because I don't think I've shown it in a video before, which is um, my skeleton spawner. So if we fly just by this hill here, I have this uh, skeleton spawner that I found in the side of this cave. And uh, I decided to build a gothic castle shell in front of it. So it's just a front facing wall. There's nothing behind it, as you can see. Um, but it is a nice design for this uh, skeleton spawner. So inside of here, uh, I'll show you how it functions. So the spawner works. Um, it's just a skeleton spawner. So they funnel into this water tunnel and then there's a bubble column here. And so eventually when enough of them pile in, you see they get shot up. And then there's another water tunnel up there that drops them down. That's <laughs> that guy was looking right at us. Um, and so that'll drop them down. How do I get out of here? Uh, that'll drop them down into the, um, we'll call it the slaying chamber. <laughs> and that is where I uh, I sit and uh, basically just 
farm some XP. So uh, I am going to do that, and I will continue what I was talking to you guys about in a second here. It has been an hour and a half that I just went looking and mining for calcite. Oh my goodness, guys, you have no idea the expedition that I just went on. I was literally flying 30,000 blocks in that direction trying to find a stony peaks. Couldn't find one. Eventually resorted to just going underneath into the caves and mining up a bunch of geodes. So you can see how much we've ended up with now. Full shulkers worth, plus some smooth basalt as well. This will actually make a really nice dark block. So I'm going to throw that in the dark block chest. And we've got some tough as well. But that should hold us over for now. Whew, that was a lot of work. Uh, I just got to stare at this castle now and eventually figure out what I need to do. Trying to get this episode out for you guys uh, in a couple hours here. At the time I am recording this, uh, let me check my clock, actually. It is 4.28 in the morning. So <laughs> very early in the morning. We're going to take a ride with this uh, sea turtle. You're going to be our little buddy for today. Um, I want to figure out what I want to add here. That's what's really holding me back. So we definitely need to do that part of the roof right there. And then we need to connect that there. And um, so basically what I'm thinking is when there's these flat cobblestone spaces, I'm either going to add walls or I'm going to add some sort of um, window in there. And by walls, I just mean like uh, stuff like this right here, like these tiny roofs. So I think I'm going to do a big window here. I think that would look the best. So I'm going to design... Um, I think it's going to be like some sort of cathedral windows that line up with this roof line right here. So a tall window with a uh, diamond type roof up top. I think that'll look the best over there. And then for here, I think I'm going to actually make some sort of a, a wall like separating out of the wall, like maybe two blocks out. Like you see how I've done uh, the stairs right there. I think I'm going to do the same thing like that and then add like a white wall attached to it. So uh, that'll break up that big cobblestone area. And then um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do there as well because I did not uh, fully complete that yet. So uh, we've got a lot to do. And I want to get this video out by maybe like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So uh, four hours of work ahead of me. And uh, doing it for you guys. Um, obviously so grateful for all the new subscribers. And I really want to get this done for you as a uh, thank you for all of that. And then, uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's just go ahead and let's go. We got lots of work to do. All right, let's take a step back, see how that looks. Uh, it could definitely be a little taller. I think it needs to sit somewhere around right there. I think that's fine. I think that's a decent window size. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, there's going to be an interior as well, right? So a lot of these angles and weird walls won't be seen. So... Uh, I know that's a little hard for you guys to visualize right now when I'm building it in this stage, but as we uh, go forward in this building process, it is going to be uh, a little more cleaned up and the walls are obviously going to be uh, all patched up and we'll have like a nice wallpaper and everything. So I should have everything I need. It looks like I've gone out one here and up one and same there. So... Uh, oh, I already have it laid out. Look at that. Lovely. Three over one. Three over one. If you've made it into the video this far, I would like to know, um, do you guys prefer me just building the actual uh, project and not explaining it? Or would you like me to explain it more while I'm building and like what I'm thinking about? Because I did have some comments ask... Lots of sea turtles, but no boat, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, lots of little windows there. Uh, we'll have to see how that ends up working out in the end. But uh, I would say this is pretty decent so far. That's about what I was picturing. Okay, let's take a step back and let's look at what we need to accomplish right now. So uh, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is we could definitely improve that center window right there. Uh, we also don't have a window up here, which is another thing that we could uh, really work on. Because obviously, um, as I've talked about a lot in this video, there's uh, certain pieces of walls that you need to separate, especially if they have like a lot of the same material. So um, I've started texturing this right here, as you can see, but I haven't done the cobblestone walls yet. We'll get to that 
this right here really needs to be broken up because that is a big space of the same block. So I think I'm going to add some sort of a window in the center there. And then um, that way it'll just uh, kind of, you know, ease the eyes on that whole white blob there. So um, I just have to design a window and um, figure out what I'm going to do there. I think it would be cool if we did like one window here and one window there and then have like a box window with a triangle uh, roof, some sort of a pentagon thing sitting in there. I think that would be really cool. All right, so now we can design this. So what I was thinking was that this is gonna have um, one window here is what I was picturing. Something just uh, very basic and straightforward, but then I wanted some sort of a, oh, that's not gonna work, is it now? Well. First off, before we do anything, it definitely needs to be more up there. It's got to be quite tall. But I think it would be better if we just... Oh, would it really be better if I make the whole thing a window? I'm not so sure it will. All right, so I think our solution is to just go like this and extend it all the way over here. So if I can just remember how I did that, it was the one and then like that. And that's just going to make it much more, um, you know, present. Like that window was a little hard to see from that other angle. So uh, I think this is going to solve that problem for us. And I can't believe I haven't brought up uh, the crimson wood with me. Uh, I have a bunch of cobblestone here, though. So while I'm here, I'm just going to mirror this on the other side. Okay, let's have a look. I think that looks much better. That is a lot easier on the eyes, especially because those two roof points, like, they slot in perfectly right there. So that'll look really nice once it's finished. And uh, it would be cool if we did some sort of, like, stained glass design in there. Um, that would be very cathedral castle right, I think that is awesome. That is a great little window to help with that whole section and so we'll take a look from the lighthouse this is becoming our very common viewing point uh that is much much better in the sense it just kind of breaks up that whole uh whole section up there so you can see right now um obviously before we just had that and i felt like there was just still too much purple in that roof so now that we have that and it's been broken apart that's much better so um we need to figure out what we're going to do right here haven't quite decided yet all right, so I think I'm actually going to go pretty simple with this roof, and I'm just going to go in one. All right, we've had a little bit of a build failure here. Something happened with the roof. I don't know what happened on this side when I made it yesterday, but I've done it wrong. So I'm having to tear it down and reset my progress here. Never a good feeling, but it's just part of the uh, the whole process here. It's just how it goes. Um, let's take a look over here just to <laughs> really make sure. And uh, so we have our five, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, the fifth block is the one that turns in. All right, so a little bit of problem solving had to go down there. So what ends up needing to happen is, uh, well, I don't know why I'm destroying that. That has to go like that. So that's gonna solve our issue there. But this one needs to go in. This one has gotta go in like this. And that's going to wrap that around. And now we can do this one right there. All right, let's have a little flight around. Wow, oh, almost hit that. Um, let's have a little flight around and see what else we need to do. So I think uh, we could definitely add some sort of like stair right there to ease that transition up a little bit. Um, and then we could fill that in. Okay, we've got to make a little bit of a change here, which is totally fine. You can see this one... Um, extends outwards like that so uh, we need to make this here two three four five that should meet the wall and then so this extends outwards since this is just like facing the bottom of this I'm not gonna do the same stair pattern there uh, because I don't have any of those blocks on me all right those are connected and so I'm gonna take this now and just line up these spruce stairs uh, just so we can um make that over there okay this main piece is just about finished now i just have to copy our uh, our stair pattern in here so i'll take care of that and i'll cut back to you guys once i finish that and we'll go on to our next thing 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That, that was something, all right. Basically, the process behind that was I was just trying to um, symmetrically set up each side so that the corners set up those windows as we have there. So you can see that. And so that's why I was uh, struggling in the middle of that is because what ended up happening was I made one of those corners and it did not have the right um, uh, roof angle. So you can see something has happened there as well. So I'm going to have to go through and uh, clean that up a little bit, which is totally fine. All right, so you can see what I mean here is I just want to build like these... Uh, a protrusion that's that's the only word i can think of these weird extensions that kind of separate um from the outside of the castle so i'm gonna build one more and i want them to be kind of random i don't want it to be so much um you know uniform i think it would look better if they were just kind of like a little scattered so i think i might put one in this little pocket right here because there's just a, a like somehow a perfect space has kind of been set up for one right there. So I think that's where I'm going to put the other one. All right, let's take a step back, see how that looks. Um, and I've accidentally built them on the same thing. <laughs> I think one is one block lower. Oh man. Well, that was completely unintentional. That, that, that was not what I was going for. All right. So here's the plan. I've figured out what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to add a wall that goes like this so this is going to be the uh the separation um from that main pillar and then i'm going to connect it um i think i'm gonna how big is this gap that's four and that would be five so i think i'm going to connect it like that let's actually do that okay so let's jump down let's take a look let me show you what I was picturing. So obviously, um, there's going to be a window right there. But that, so now you can see how that's worked out, right? That was what I was trying to explain, is that now fills that huge gap that was right there. So it's not so closed off anymore. So um, I think I'm just going to leave that. Like, I might just, like, flatten that roof off. Or maybe add, like, some little spikes, some detail like we did up there so that it, it's not so flat looking. But um, that obviously looks much better. And then we need to do uh, this pattern right here that we did, which I should have blocks to do. So we can just fly right back up there. Okay, and I am just going to extend this one more like this. Very nice. There's a couple more things that we do need to do. Like uh, this tower right here doesn't have any detail on it. And that doesn't have any detail on it. So we're not quite finished. But probably only a couple more hours worth of work for me. And I think the exterior will be just about 70% done. <laughs> I will say that. The main structure is there. The detail isn't. So uh, obviously it's going to take a very long time, especially when I have to go through and texture everything like I've done down here. So um, just chipping away at it one by one. All right, let's have a look at that. How does that look? Now that's about what I was going for, I'd say. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I want to add some smaller ones in as well, like maybe right there and right there. Um, so I think that is what I'm going to do next. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of getting to that point where I think I've done just about everything I want to do before I start doing the interior. There's obviously like little stuff that needs to be patched up like that. Um, but for the most part, the actual main design is just about finished. And I won't start doing the windows until I get up to the actual rooms. Um, but I think... Uh, the last things we need to do is add stuff on this tower, and then we need to make a window for that. Okay, how am I going to design this window? So luckily we have a three block gap, which is good, which means we have a middle point. So um, honestly, I think a big just window, like a big square is maybe our best option here. All right, let's see. Is our offset window... Nice. I'm going to leave the offset window. I actually like that a lot. I think it, it kind of shakes that up a little bit, um, but I might bring that level down. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, I would say for the most part, roughly complete. And so I'm going to put the windows in these gaps in between this. I think that's the best spot for them. So... I'm just trying to consider how far down I want it to be. So I think I'm going to put them 
right here to start. All right, so then I'm just gonna place uh, spruce slabs like this. And we'll just copy that over. Okay, yeah, that fills up that space very nice. That was exactly what I was going for. So um, the next thing I think we could add, that's where all my scaffolding is. I was wondering where it went. It's all in there. Little fly around so we can see everything here. So um, this is the main thing of what we did today. That was a lot of work. That took me like at least six hours to plan all of that out and get that the way I wanted. So it feels good seeing that. Um, just making sure my elytra is not going to break. It feels good seeing all that uh, pretty much completed now. Um, in the sense of all I have to do is just build the floors and fill in the windows. So a lot of this stuff is all, um, even though it looks unfinished, uh, it's pretty much completed. Um, there's just a few more details that I want to add to the outside. So obviously I'm going to go through and do all the texturing like we have there. Um, and then I'm also going to like, I don't know, just add little things. Like obviously I have leaves down there and I'm just going to do that in a much better way. All right. Now there's something I did want to try out here, which I think would be pretty cool is um, I want to make the roof look like it's kind of like getting old <laughs> in some spots. So uh, I was thinking right here we could do a nice little test so i've got some cherry wood because i think that works really well with this block um and what i was thinking was we could make it look like uh i don't know just that the roof is like weathered in a way so um i think this block is lighter if i'm not mistaken yes it is oh geez that <laughs> nice catch but i'm doing that way too much problem is there aren't stairs that are this color Maybe nether brick is the only one I could think of, and I don't have any of those, so um, I'm just going to have this kind of like bleed downwards, so hopefully I have enough. I should. Yep, okay, and then we'll go in with the bricks, and although up close it looks a little weird, I think from a distance... They're so similar in color that it is going to work just fine. So uh, we're just going to hope for that. Yeah, you, you won't even be able to tell from a distance. Um, and then down here, I wish there was a block that was in between these two, that that uh, that nice plum color. But unfortunately, I don't think there is. Um, all right, so now from a distance, that should be what I was going for, which is about right. I would say that's about what I was going for. So I was planning what I'm picturing, right? Is that the roof is like wet or damp almost. And uh, like, you know, when you see an old building and it just looks like weathered and run down, that's kind of the effect that I'm going for here. Like I'm going to do another one here and I'm, I'm just literally going to make this like a line going downwards. So, so I'm going to go with the nether brick first like this. And then I'm going to have the nether brick down here. And then I'm going to take this like this. And this is going to be our little drooping effect. So from a distance, that should look really nice. So yeah, look at that. Perfect. So now we have that up there and that up there. So basically, uh, I'm going to farm all of those materials over the course of the next couple days and um, work on that on my own time. But I think that's going to do it for this video i believe i think that's going to be the end of the castle section of this video there is one more thing i wanted to do which i think um, is a perfect time to do it because uh, it's not that intensive all right i'm going to go through and take down a lot of these cherry trees it will make sense in a couple of videos i promise i'm not going to do it in this video but um i'm going to at least get rid of them for now um because of uh, what i plan to do but uh, I'm going to end this video off by just talking about uh, what happened with the channel because it absolutely took me by surprise. And I literally like can't even believe it. It's been over a day at this point. From there, I just wanted to say that I did see 
everyone's comments. I am trying my best to keep up with them. There is so many comments happening at one time that it's a little bit difficult to uh, reply to all of them. I did try my best. Uh, I spent uh, many, many hours yesterday doing my best to keep up with all the comments that the channel was getting. Uh, unfortunately, though, I cannot seriously, like, I'm not even just saying this to say it like I actually do mean it. There was so many that I literally could not keep up with them. I was trying super hard to uh, do my best to reply to every single one and I couldn't do it because they just kept coming in. So uh, again, if you are leaving a comment and I haven't seen it, I do apologize. I was trying my best. Um, it's just obviously, like I said, there's just so many uh, that I can't keep up with them. So um, yes, for those who are commenting, thank you so, so, so much. Your words are uh, very generous. Everybody's so kind. Yes really felt like I needed to say a massive thank you in this video. So that's what I'm going to do uh, before I end it off. Yeah, it's actually quite difficult to uh, talk about uh, what has happened with the channel because it it literally caught me that off guard that like I don't even know what to say <laughs> for all of the people have joined. Like, I, you know, I was at 20 subscribers two days ago zero exaggeration in that 20 subscribers two days ago and now by the time this video goes out um when i was rec when i started recording this it was at 2.7 thousand so i have no idea what the number is going to be at now it's been just going absolutely crazy um over the past couple hours so um again i'm not taking anything for granted like i said in the la video all of this could very easily change um within you know a few hours and uh just the number that i have now like i am extremely grateful for um that amount of subscribers like if you think about how many people 2500 people is that is a lot of people man imagine a room filled with 2500 people that that's like a huge huge amount of people so having that many people watching my videos is such a pleasure and i am so fortunate to be in that position i cannot begin to explain how i feel about that so um obviously in the la video i said i could go on for 20 videos talking about how uh fortunate i feel to be in that position so um i won't do it too much i know i've been really kind of emphasizing that over the past couple videos so um the channel like i seriously cannot say enough times how amazing it is to be in that position and um just how sudden it's been like it, it was just literally in the span of a couple hours i went from having 20 subs to over 500 and then i made the 500 subscriber video and while i was making that video literally in the middle of making that video i went from 500 to a thousand so um it was a ridiculous ridiculous transformation uh yeah i think that's going to be it for this video don't think i have much else to talk about uh so yeah again massive thank you to whatever the total number is that this video is named after i have no idea what it's going to be at this point it, it's been so um back and forth that i don't even know like what to uh what to title the video i could title it you know like 3,000 subscriber special and it'll end up i'll be at like 5,000 or something i have no idea what the number is going to be um i doubt it's going to be that high but um yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for what to do in the world next. I have some fun videos planned uh, for the next couple of days, so please be sure to look out for those. Um, and yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. So that's about it. See ya. And just before we end it off, I just want to take one more look at the castle so we can see everything we did today. Perfectly timed with the sunset. Um, so that is everything we did today. That was so much, and it was a lot of work. I know the video is probably much shorter than it actually took me, but that, honestly, that was probably over 12 hours worth of uh, work getting it to this point. So, um, yeah, I guess that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe if you are interested. Anyways, yeah, I, I think that's just about it.